Hey guys, <clears throat> it is me again as you can tell. Today is uh, Thursday, October 21st, 2010. That makes it day 294 on our Project Jesus 365. Guys, this is take two tonight on this. I was get I jibber jabbed for about seven or eight minutes and was getting her to get into the important stuff. And I seen a flash out of the corner of my eye and looked down and my iPod went dead. The battery died in it. So I had to hook it up to charge it. And uh, So anyway, this is take two. But yeah, it is good to see you guys here tonight. Um, as you can tell behind me, not watching the Food Network. It's kind of strange if you guys will pay attention, but... Uh, as I've told you guys before, I cannot stand reality shows. The only type of reality shows I like is like crime fighting, you know, crime type based reality shows. And that's what I'm watching there, the first 48, you know, where the detectives from different police departments, it shows, you know, they try to solve uh, murders within 48 hours, you know. So uh, all they are, the Food Network has got as bad as any other channel about having reality shows you know they've got chopped and the next iron chef and uh restaurant battle and cupcake battle and uh, and next food network star and all these reality shows and i oh it makes me want to puke you know when i, t I turn on the food network I, I i turn it on there to see guys big bite and uh good eats and uh, best thing I ever ate. Shows like that, you know, so showing food, shows showing food, food prepared, food already fixed. You know, I'm not on there to see a reality show with people fighting and stabbing each other in the back and cooking and crying and hollering. So anyway, that's why I'm not watching that tonight. Um, what else, guys? Oh, I just finished. Um, making my first batch of bullets tonight so uh... i made twenty it took me all night pretty much you know first batch wanted to take it slow my back is killing me because i had to stand up the whole time because i don't have a i've got a stool that's too tall and then a regular chair is too low so i gotta try to find me a, a adjustable stool or something you know something i can get the right height but yeah i did make my first batch of bullets like i said i made twenty not shot them yet, you know. I'm I'm not going to shoot them till tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully I can get the nerve to shoot them. Uh, you know, when I first started getting getting the stuff together and everything, you know, I really wasn't concerned nothing about shooting them. Uh, but so many people, you know, when they hear you reloading, it, so many people come in and start trying to tell you horror stories about, you know, people blowing their guns up and blowing their barrels off and you know all that kind of stuff. And, you let people talk to you so much, you know, about that stuff that you finally start thinking you're going to do it too, which I guess, you know, there's always a possibility, but, you know, I've been real careful. Usually when stuff like that happens, it's because of people double charging a case, you know, putting, because in a pistol, they don't use much powder anyway, and, and they they double charge it, you know, they, they fill it up once, and then for some reason they get distracted, they grab the same case again and fill it twice. That's usually what happens when you hear of a gun blowing up, you know, because somebody reloading and it's been double charged. And uh, I paid real close attention, made sure I didn't do that. I actually loaded every case by hand, you know, instead of using a powder thrower to just swap, swap and put it in it. I actually weighed every charge, so I know I'm in there, and I stayed on the low side of the charges too, so uh, I should be all right. Uh, but just in case, I'm going to probably use my Glock 36 to shoot this first load out of their 45s is what I made tonight. Uh, I don't want to, you know, I, my other my other 45 guns are just so high dollar. You know, I got the Kimber, which was almost $1,500. Uh, the Sig P220, which is like $1,200 gun. The Smith & Wesson 1911, which is a $1,000 gun. You know, so in case something does happen, I don't want to blow one of them high dollar guns up. So uh, I'm probably going to use the Glock 36. So, uh, yeah, anyway, everything went. I only destroyed two. I'm, I only messed up. I'm, I, I, I squashed two cases. Uh, I had my crimp setting too tight. 
and uh, you know when you press the bullet down in there and you put it in the press it presses the bullet to a certain depth and then it also squeezes it to make sure the bullet stays in it well I just I had it set to where it just squeezed it a little bit too hard and I crushed two cases so it's not too bad I don't guess you know if you've never done it before so um, I like it though it's tedious work it's strenuous mind numbing I mean it's you gotta think so much, you know. You're always thinking and checking and thinking and checking, and it, it's it's tedious work, but I love it. I really do. Uh, so you guys just pray for me. Pray for me that that uh that I don't blow a, a perfectly good gun up tomorrow shooting it. I'm not really worried about you know, because even when you do hear a gun's blowing up, you hardly ever hear of anybody getting hurt with it. You know, it usually just destroys the gun. Uh, but you all pray for me anyway. Pray that that everything goes all right on my first batch. Uh, let's see what else, guys. Uh, just usual, guys. You all pray for me, my family, my business. Uh, you know, I we business has been good so far. Business has been good this week. But what's killed us this week, guys, is we've had been trying to fix this water line. You know that I told you guys about. You know, it's starting to get cold here, so we got to kind of hurry and get it done before it starts. I think we actually got a frost advisory tonight. So, uh, and I've had a guy working here all week doing that. I've probably already paid him four or $500, plus probably spent a couple hundred dollars in supplies. So, you know, right there, I've spent six or $700 this week on that. Well, you know, that's my payday. That's actually a little more than my payday. Uh, so, you know, I'm just, I'm just hoping that, that having to spend that on this don't lock me out of a payday this week, but it very could, you know, it very well could do it. Uh, so you guys just pray. Uh, and pray that he can, that this guy comes and uh, finishes tomorrow. He's supposed to come back tomorrow, but he's actually got another job that he don't know if he had to work tomorrow or not. We got the house replumbed and hooked back up, and of course two of the sinks don't work now. Don't know what happened. Everything else works. Uh, we think maybe we're so much of the crud, you know, how when you take water lines apart, they got crud and stuff in them. We think it's the crud. Uh, from everything actually maybe just stop these sinks up stop the lines up going to the sink so uh, but I'm without water right now at the garage and at, at the shop so uh, just pray that he can get in here tomorrow and hook that up and fix this these little problems and so we can get back on water but just pray too, guys that I'll draw a payday tomorrow cuz I've got a little money in my pocket but what I've got in my pocket I owe out for reloading supplies uh, my friend let me take them the other day and he didn't have all the invoices or something, so he said, you just go ahead and take them, and next time I see you, you know, you see me, you can pay me. Uh, so probably every dime I got in my pocket right now is going to have to go to that. So uh, pray I draw a payday tomorrow, guys. Pray for me and my family. Uh, pray for my church. And we will get to the important part tonight, right now. And of course, that is God's Word. Continuing on in Acts chapter 19, starting in verse 33. Here we go. And drew, and they drew, ah. Don't ask me what happened here, guys. My iPod went crazy. It's still trying to go crazy. I don't know if it's where the battery's slow. And they drew Alex Alexander out of the multitude, the Jews putting him forward, and Alexander beckoned with the hand and would have made his defense unto the people. But when they knew that he was a Jew, all with one voice about the space of two hours cried out, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. See, they're just being smart Alex here. They, they thought they were going to trump these Jewish boys and their God. And we're just going to cry out, Great is Diana, the God of the Ephesians. Uh, same way these atheists and all these big mouth people do now. They think hollering their stuff is going to drown God out, the true one living God. Yeah, they think that anyway, don't they? And when the town clerk had appeased the people, he said, Ye men of Ephesus, what man is there that knoweth not how that the city of the Ephesians is a worshiper of the great goddess Diana, and of the image which fell down from Jupiter? Seeing then that these things cannot be spoken against, ye ought to be quiet and do nothing rashly. For ye have brought hither these men, which are neither robbers of churches, nor yet blasphemers of your goddess. He's saying, this guy's saying, Leave these boys alone. They're not doing nothing to hurt you, basically. Let's see. Oh, guys, my, my iPod's going crazy. And 
Nice to see you guys. For ye have brought... Wherefore, if... Wherefore, if Demetrius and the craftsmen... Let's see, guys. Oh, guys, I don't know what's wrong. My iPod's just going crazy. The screen's bouncing back and forth. For ye have brought... Let's see. Wherefore, if Demetrius and the craftsmen which are with him have a matter against any men, the law is open, and there are deputies. Let them implead one another. But if ye inquire anything concerning other matters, it shall be determined in a lawful assembly. For we are in danger to be called in question for this day's uproar, there being no cause whereby we may give an account to this concourse. And when he had thus spoken, he dismissed the assembly. Guys, my iPod's going crazy, which that, that ends the chapter. That ends chapter 19. So, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it right here. <clears throat> see how my iPod is scrolling there on its own? And it's not supposed to do that. And a minute ago, it was jumping, actually going brrr, jumping back and forth. And uh, I'd touch it, and it'd stop, and then it'd bounce worse. And So maybe where the battery's so dead on it, it's, it's uh, trying to do that. I don't know, but... Uh, anyway, guys, like I said, uh, we'll start tomorrow, good Lord willing, chapter 20. Um, you guys need anything, as always, holler at me. Oh, but I did want to mention something, guys. I know I didn't answer comments last night for the night before, so I'm going to have two nights of comments to answer tonight. Uh, I just I had so much to do last night. By the time I got, to be honest, I forgot it when I when I uploaded my other vid. I kind of forgot it for a while, and uh, I just, to be honest, it was almost it was like two thirty in the morning. By the time I realized it, I didn't get into bed last night until like two thirty. Uh, I wasn't feeling good and had a tooth bothering me just a little bit. And, uh, I was actually crawling into bed like I've done before when I realized that I didn't answer the comments and I said well I'm not getting back out of bed and firing the computer back up to, to answer them so uh, sorry for that guys I really am so uh, I'm gonna try to answer them right now in a minute and uh, if you guys need anything like I said just holler at me and uh, keep praying for me and my family and I am praying for you guys uh, I really am praying for all of you I know a lot of us you know there's a lot of people having tough times right now uh, we just have to hold on to each other and more importantly hold on to the Lord. He's the only one that can get us through it. So uh, anyway guys, uh, good Lord willing I'll be here tomorrow night. So until I see you again, good night and God bless.